Hi, I'm Tom D, and in this video I want to talk about arranged queries in Elasticsearch. You imagine that you have a shop that is selling multiple products, and then you want to let the customers decide at which price range they want to buy. In order to do that, you have a filtering in Elasticsearch that lets you specify the range of the prices and apply on a search. So your results will be adjusted. You won't see the products that are less expensive or the products that are more expensive. You're able to narrow down the results according to your wish. Let's start this tutorial by starting up Elasticsearch cluster. Here's a project that you can download as well from this website. There's a article on the blog that you can read and this describe how this project is created what are the components and so on and so on so i don't want to cover up details right now simply start the cluster start docker compose cluster it will start up the nodes and also it will start up actually one node and it will start up the kibana on top of that all secured so the communication is in https to the kibana and between nodes it's using the tls mode and data is encrypted of course for the testing purposes is not that required but it's nice to have white not after a while the kibana will be started and elastic search will be green status so you can go right now to the kibana as you can see they are loading the configuration here the plugins and so on but that's fine, let's let's try out if the Kibana is up and running right now. Like I said, you need to use HTTPS address because it's uh, encrypted. Accept the uh, risk. Elastic as a username and password one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the default password I set up for this project. Explore on my own, go to the dev tools skip the tour clear this input we can start the first step is to load the data i prepared for you the product prices mapping it contains the product name category price in usd and there are the products there is a list of products like macbook iphone the category for that that is electronics and price in us dollars data is there so now you can go and start querying that data as you can see on, on the screen the first query i want to show you is to limit the price range for the products so as you loaded the data you have a product you have a certain electronics and you want to display only those that are matching the price range between 300 and 1000 dollars as you can see on the screen there is a visualization showing how it will select the data as you can see already the apple watch and sony is expected to be in the lower section of the price and uh, on the higher bound on the price limit there is a iphone 15 and samsung galaxy these two products that should be displayed after executing that query so i'm selecting that query from here and going to the kibana here i'm pasting the query you follow the same you paste the query here and execute it okay index not found exception product prices okay i need to correct that one in my notes price in usd that's the field name okay that's the results here apple watch sony samsung galaxy iphone 15 it's exactly what is there on the visualization this way you limited the products displayed to the customer as you can see the the field here in the mapping is a float there are numbers there are prices fixed prices assigned to the products and then you are using the range to query to narrow down the results that's the first scenario i wanted to show you let's see another example for another example there was the data that i have a mapping that contain the bracket name and income range the income range is type long range because it's a range of the long values from the minimum to maximum and here in the actual data that you are going to ingest you can see there is a specified less than or greater than equal less than equal so you have a ranges here so for example here this range will cover any values that are lower than 20,000 and that's it they should be lower than not lower than equal but just lower than 20,000 the next range that is called lower middle income core values that are greater or equal to 
20,000 and less than or equal to 39,999, and so on and so on. So last one is greater than or equal to 80,000. There are these ranges of the long values. There are long numbers here, so they can be quite large numbers put it into the range. So let's execute that. The first one to create the mapping, and that's very important because otherwise it will create the object here if you don't specify the mapping instead of the long range type. The mapping is created, the documents are indexed. Time to look at the first query. So the first query I want to show you is to specify the range that has exactly same. the same minimum and maximum value. It will be like pointing to the specific value $45,000, but you're using the range to specify that. Here, as you can see on a visualization, it will match the middle income because this value is inside the middle income range. This relation contains, means whether the middle income contain the specified range in the query. And in this case, it's falling in between 40,000 and almost $60,000. So it's matching the query, matching the range, and it fits in. So that's why you should expect the results to be middle income. So the middle income should be returned. Let's figure it out by selecting the query and executing it in Kibana. So here in the cabana, I am executing the query. And as you can see, there is a middle income as a result. So middle income document was returned as a result because the range I provided in the query contain is inside the income range specified here. So it's, it's matching as was visible on a visualization. Now the second case is when you specify the range. So it's not only the minimum and maximum that are equal, now the range has different values for the minimum and maximum. So here is a greater than or equal to 45,000 and less than or equal to 55,000. The same rule applies here because the relation is contains, means that the middle income should contain the range that was specified in a query and the range specified in query fitting that middle income, as you can see on the screen on this visualization, it's fitting that range so you should expect the middle income again to be returned as a response. So let's select that and execute in Kibana. Again, you can see the same document returned by Elasticsearch. Let's see one more example. Here's a case tree which intersects 70,000 and 90,000. So what does it mean? It means that the relationship that is intersects is selecting all the ranges that are intersect with that specific range in a query. Because the query range is from 70 to 90,000, it will touch both ranges, the upper middle income and high income. Therefore, as you can see on the screen, both two ranges are selected in the visualization. To confirm that, you select the query, copy that, and go to Kibana to execute it. As you can see, two ranges are returned as an answer the upper middle income and high income, exactly as it was presented on a visualization. Let's see the last example. On the last example, you can see the range that has a relation within. And this range is specified from the $30,000 to $65,000. And as you can see, this, this range is more wide than the middle income. And in this type of query, your query range should be able to accommodate ranges from the data. Means this range should be bigger enough to fit one of those ranges here on the, on the chart. In this case, the middle income is fitting that query range and that middle income will be returned. So this is flipped version what you have seen in the previous example. When the query range should fit inside the ranges in the data, here's the opposite. The range that is in the documents, the ranges that are in the documents should fit the range that is specified in a query. That's why your range in a query should be wide, wide enough. enough to fit some of the ranges in the data. Here, the ranges are not overlapping each other. You can imagine simultaneously multiple ranges that are overlapping each other. So the query range can accommodate many of those, but in this case, this is a simple example that there is just one. To confirm that behavior, you can select the query and go to Kibana and execute it. As you can see, the middle income is returned, which is exactly what is presented on a visualization, because this query range was able to accommodate the middle income. 
there are these few examples that you have practiced right now, and I'm sure right now we understand the concept of querying the ranges or querying the data with the ranges, like it was the the first example when you when you have no ranges in the data but you query with the range, or the example when you have the ranges in the data and also you query with the ranges. So you can explore and play more of that concept on your own. Now you know the basics. Thank you for watching. Remember to visit my blog. On the blog you will see the version of this video in form of article that you can copy paste commands and use them on your project. You can also find other articles that are interesting for you. As you can see there is a course platform that I started that you can get more details about Elasticsearch. There is a nice course about this. If you want to learn more you can find out over here the courses and, and enjoy them. Have a nice coding. Bye.